there, it's Anonymous Tea, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we are talking Tasha K and Cardi B because this is the case that will never end because Tasha K keeps trying to find little routes and avenues, allegedly, as far as, um, you know, trying to avoid paying Cardi B, right? So this is the latest. It says Cardi B demands sanctions against Tasha K's husband and fight to collect on $4 million judgment, you guys. It says Cardi B continued to make moves in court as part of her effort to collect on the $4 million judgment she won in her defamation lawsuit against blogger Tasha K. According to our court documents obtained, um, this is, of course, from Reader Online, the rapper asked the court to compel Tasha's husband, I, I, I forgot to say how to pronounce his first name, but last name Kiwi, to turn over emails she believes could hold vital information. I think it's check, actually. Nonetheless, in 2022, a federal jury awarded Cardi a seven-figure judgment after she accused Tasha of spreading vicious lies about her online. Tasha attempted to appeal the judgment but was unsuccessful. For months, Cardi sees Tasha's income from her YouTube channel and various social media platforms. The rapper fired off a series of subpoenas to Tasha's bank accounts to determine where her assets were held. Tasha filed for Chapter 11, which put a pause on Cardi's collection efforts. As part of the bankruptcy, Tasha claimed she did not have income or assets to satisfy the full judgment. The blogger listed her only assets as a 2021 Chevrolet Silverado, a home furniture, $500 worth of electronics, $2,500 worth of clothes, and two Louis Vuitton purses. Cardi filed a lawsuit in the bankruptcy demanding the judgment not be discharged. Defendant was given multiple opportunities to retract the false and defamatory statements and videos, but defendant steadfastly refused to do so, her lawyer wrote. The court agreed and ruled Tasha was on the hook for the $4 million owed in her Chapter 11 case. As we first reported, Cardi has been making moves in bankruptcy court for several months. Her legal team has disposed several individuals connected to Tasha Kay and her husband. In January, Cardi claimed she discovered multiple domestic and offshore trusts that Tasha and her husband created but were not disclosed in the bankruptcy petition. The rapper said Tasha failed to disclose the existence of of and are testified untruthfully about the following the uh Simbakesi investment sorry if i'm butchering that trust cook islands zoniki's llc island of navi and bambaco trust uh kibi children ilt georgia transrena management trust georgia and the florida joint revocable uh revocable uh living trust Tasha's lawyer admitted the blogger created the offshore trust after being sued by Cardi, but never used them. The impending Cardi B judgment caused Debitor to panic and make hasty decisions after um, she felt were necessary to protect her family and children. In March of 2021, Debitor retained a Georgia attorney for an estate planning package for her and check. The lawyer said uh, because the litigation with Cardi B was still ongoing, each trust was funded with only $10 cash on hand. No bank account was ever created for any of the domestic trust and nothing has been transferred in or out of the trust to date. The limited partnership was likewise created, but valued at zero dollars and never used by debtor, check, or their family or any individual entity. The domestic trust and limited partnership remain active today, but have no value. In her new motion, Cardi explained that she served Tasha's husband with a notice in July 2023 that asked him to produce documents. She said he objected to nearly every request. His lawyer said the documents had already been produced by Tasha. Cardi said she recently deposed Alicia Thomas, an accountant who worked for Tasha's husband. Cardi said she discovered the existence of an email address actively used by Mr. Kibi to conduct business. She said this email address had not been previously disclosed despite him being asked to reveal all email addresses he used. In addition, she said it's particularly troubling since the email address seems to be related to one of the trusts the couple created that was not initially disclosed. The discovery of this undisclosed email addresses the lays bare Mr. Keepy's contempt for the subpoena and this court. 
In keeping with the Kibi's conduct throughout these proceedings, Mr. Kimi deliberately uh, withheld documents and communications that are responsive to the subpoena for the 2004 examination he first received on July 19, 2023. Cardi's lawyer wrote, uh, further, her legal team claimed to have discovered an existence of a previously undisclosed company owned by Mr. Kibi, IBSM Technology LLC, while running business records check to um, relate it to another previously undisclosed business of debtor uh, called Stash Media Works LLC. Cardi said the company was created approximately one month after Tasha filed for bankruptcy, her lawyer said. More importantly, Mr. Kibi was asked about what companies he owns, and he failed to disclose the existence of IBSM, even though he had only created it approximately two months prior to him being asked. The motion added both debtor and Mr. Kibi uh, made it clear that they admitted under oath that they were moving assets and funds from debtor to Mr. Kibi in an effort to avoid the defamation judgment and garnership of debt income post petition debtor and mr kibi's effort to conceal debtor's true income by filtering it through mr kibi's companies is laid bare in the latest amended plan and will be addressed separately in objection to confirmation put simply debtor's plan shows debtor intends to continue her bad faith efforts to suppress the true amount of her income in an effort to hinder and delay Cardi's collection efforts. A judge has yet to rule on Cardi's motion. What I don't understand, Tasha K set up a pl payment plan. You're promoting all these things, these comedy shows, uh, all of these things that you're doing on Tasha K Live and all of these things and just set up a payment plan you have been avoiding for the past couple of years, uh, trying to avoid Cardi B to no avail. And it's going to get to a point where she's just going to take it all. And, and then you won't be able to do YouTube or any of these other things as a blogger anymore. Like, do you want that to happen? Because I don't think Tasha still to this day is taking this seriously, which is unfortunate, right? And, and, and thinks that, you know, she can continue to try to hide money and hide assets and put things in her husband's name and, and all these things. And, and that Cardi B and her team are, are not going to discover it, you guys. Can you make it make sense? Um, it's just very unfortunate that we're still talking about this to this day. And there's been no payment plan um, or any type of payment set up as of now because Tasha K has been trying to exhaust all possible options of trying to avoid uh, paying, uh, you know, Cardi B. And it's very unfortunate. Here's, here's the thing. Pride comes before the fall, you guys. And, and Tasha K is way too prideful to admit that this was uh, one thing that, you know, was too much for her to handle. Uh, but what I don't understand is why she just won't set up the payment plan because what's going to happen is Cardi B has the money to keep you tied up in, in court forever until uh, the money starts coming in, until a payment plan uh, starts to happen, right? So I don't understand why you want to continue this. This is going on for several years now. Uh, let's just make it, you know, right and just set up a payment plan and keep it moving. That's how these things work. So there's that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.